All right. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. We are in Mozambique today. Oh, come on, Natalie. I see your apron. It is beautiful. <laughs> I know, right? Awesome. Awesome, you all. Um, so today we are going to be making Piri Piri chicken. Miss Marissa, yes, you said it right. Uh, Piri Piri chicken, roasted corn and green with a green garden salad is going to be off the chain. And I don't know about you, but my chicken was marinating since last night. Where Was your chicken marinating? Yeah. Uh-huh. So marinated chicken is always going to be good. Um, or even if you are going to toss your vegetables, if you're vegetarian or vegan, um, we're going to toss your vegetables in the same sauce and it's going to be awesome. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to get started with a little bit of information about, um, about Mozambique. And so I'm going to share, um, share my screen here. And, um, so thank you so much, Miss Rissa for the wonderful music. And we are going to be traveling to Mozambique. Does no, anybody know anything about Mozambique? Even as I pull this up? Nope. Are there any, any, any details that you know about it? Oh, hold on, let me see. I'm not seeing your faces. Wait, let me go back up. A little bit or no? Not really? Okay, well, you are gonna learn some awesome stuff about Mozambique today. So, you're gonna learn some wonderful facts. And this is um, from uh, this site here called Kids World Travel Guide. And so you can feel free to check it out. I'm actually gonna drop it down here in the chat for you. And so um, Mozambique is in Africa. It's actually where we were um, last week in South Africa. It's actually neighbors right there um, with, um, with South Africa. So let's scroll up here. And so you can see some of the people there at, in Mozambique. And so Mozambique has a population of 31, about 31 million people. Its capital is Maputo. And, um, it is official language is Portuguese. And so, um, uh, Mozambique was conquered by Portugal. That's why they speak Portuguese. And, um, and so they have other languages there that they also speak, but Portuguese is one of the main ones. Um, as we scroll down here, you can see the map of Mozambique. So uh, where we were in South Africa down here, it's right at the tip of, um, uh, right near South Africa, but it's right here on the side. And if we were to, um, if we were to kind of look at it on a broad map, you would see Madagascar like over here to the side of it. So it's just right here along this edge of Mozambique. This is where Mozambique is. All right. Um, there's some other really fun things about Mozambique. So if you look at the name of Mozambique, it actually has all of the vowels and it's, it's the only um, uh, country that has all the vowels, all the letters, um, all the vowels in its name, which is very different. Yeah. So look, we got A, A, E, A, O, and we got the U. Excuse me, miss. It doesn't have the Y, though. <laughs> and sometimes the Y. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> You're right, D2. <laughs> you are right. You're right. But at least it has all the main vowels. Good one. Good one. I like that one. Look, I'm going to get you get some extra points for that. That's good. <laughs> um, there are six countries that border Mozambique. So we've got Tanzania, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Malawi, um, uh, Eswatini, and South Africa. So this is just, these are some just pictures of Mozambique. So when you travel there, you're going to see how beautiful it is. Just beautiful land, um, beautiful mountains um, here in those, um, you see here in Northern Mozambique. Also the beaches are phenomenal. And Mozambique has three archipelagos. Do you guys know what an archipelago is? 
Anyone? No? Okay. Great. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad you. I'm glad. I'm glad you because you're going to learn it. An archipelago is a group of islands. And so along the coast of Mozambique, it has all these different groups of islands, archipelagos, that are groups of islands um, together. And, um, and so they are beautiful islands. Here you can see um, this one here is um, a, one of the dams that's there in, um, in Mozambique, and it's actually one of the largest ones. And there's so many awesome landmarks. Um, its capital is Maputo, and it's among one of the main landmarks in the city hall. And um, uh, this gentleman, Samora Machel, um, there's a statue of him there. And he is very important because he was one who helped to help them gain their independence. And so, um, and so there is this iron statue there to celebrate um, his contribution to the country, okay? And look, you guys, look at this. So this is one of the islands on the archipelago. And so this, um, the Bazurutu archipelago includes five islands and a national park. I mean, look at that sand, look at the water. Ooh. You guys, can, when you talk about clear water, that's clear water. Like put your hand, you see your hand. You know, you see that fish walk, swimming up to your leg. You know, and the fish, they, they like, bump into your leg and that kind of stuff too. They want to say hi. <laughs> so really beautiful, a very beautiful country. Um, lots of different animals um, that's there. They have great national parks. Elephants are um, uh, one of their national um, animals as well. And um, you can see that one of its main uh, exports are prawns. Prawns are like shrimp but they're, you know, that full, well, shrimp are the full size. We normally cut off the head, but the prawns is kind of in that shrimp family. Um, there's cotton, sugar, citrus fruits, and also it's one of the largest producers of cashew nuts. So you guys see, when we can look at the cashews, we get them already done, but look at that top part that's on there, right? That's pretty cool. It looks like an apple. Yeah, that's actually what it says. It says cashew nuts grow in a shell that's attached to a cashew apple. Oh, so 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 we have jazz apples, we have honeybee apples, we mm -hmm. have granny apples, the green ones, we have rose apples, which are like mm -hmm. the pinkish ones. We have the uh, the mix of granny rose apples. <laughs> now we have cashew apples. Oh, yeah, so many, so many cool ones, and and it's called an apple. Just I think it's because it looks like it, um, but and how it surrounds it at the top. And this is just a picture of some of the ladies in the market. So what some of the people look like there in Mozambique and they have all these fresh vegetables. So lots of fresh food, lots of fresh vegetables. All those things are there in Mozambique. Um, in the city, you're going to have those tall buildings, just like we have here in LA, right? But then if you go more into the countryside in these rural areas, you're going to see huts from different tribes and groups and that kind of stuff. So, so you get a good mix of all those different people. So um, I'm going to scroll down here, right here where it shows all these chilies and stuff from our recipe today, our Piri Piri chicken, all these chilies. They have the ghost, this, rest, this original recipe came with the ghost pepper, the African ghost pepper. You know that spicy. Hey, hey will we ever make that? <laughs> you said, can we? Well, one, we would have to find ghost peppers here. Two, your mouth would be on fire. I think your whole body would be on fire. <laughs> yeah. Well, but it's worth it for them. It would be worth it? I don't know. I don't know, D2. I don't know. <laughs> they look like Takis. Huh? They look like Takis. They look, oh, like Takis, right? <laughs> well, this is the original pepper, right? We're not putting any artificial coloring, right? Takis have artificial coloring, so. Well, but all okay. these wonderful chilies, huh? Uh, I was gonna say that's funny because the blue talkies are artificial coloring. The blue and like any other color but red mm -hmm. is artificial coloring. Mm -hmm. We're yeah. adding ingredients. A stingray. Yeah, so they have stingrays there too. So mm -hmm. beautiful stingrays. 
all these awesome facts. All right, so I'm gonna stop my share right here. Miss Marissa is gonna share how to say some words in Portuguese. Um, so when you travel there, you'll know how to say some common words. One time when I was somewhere and mm -hmm. then it had, they had like a lot of sea creatures. One yeah. time I actually touched a stingray. <laughs> well, just make sure you do it like this because it's not, it's important to do it like this with two fingers. Oh, let me see. We don't hear your sound. Oh yeah, now we do. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so, I mean, if you're here for the first time, my name is Jovenci. I do lifestyle travel vlogs. And I'm in Mozambique, Maputo, right now, and I'm with my friend Junior. Yes. Is it okay, Junior? Yes, Junior. Okay, so Junior is a local here, is a Mozambican, right? Yes. Mozambican, yeah. So he's a Mozambican and he speaks Portuguese as his first language. Yes. It's... Yeah. And also, he's also English and French. English, French, and Ghana. Oh, is that? Oh, okay. So I have three, but. Portuguese is his first language and I've never spoken Portuguese and since I came to to Maputo today is Monday Tuesday Wednesday no Sunday Tuesday, Monday Tuesday so today is Tuesday it's my third day here in Mozambique and I must say people here don't speak English so English is not very popular but Portuguese is I've had different encounters with people that can't speak English they had to write down to me I mean how much I need to pay and things like that if you go to the high-end restaurants, you get people that speak English, but majority of people don't speak English. And I like traveling as a local, so I need to know a bit of Portuguese. So today in this video, I'll be giving you or bringing to you some of the words that you really need when you're in Mozambique in order to communicate with people, like the few words that you need. And here, my friend Junior is going to help me out on translating some of the words. So I wrote them down. So the first thing is how to say hi to people. So how do you say hi to people? Hola. Hola. Yes. Woman, masculine, feminine. Hola. Yes. Hola. All, all, all. You guys say hola? hola? Yes. Okay, so hola is the way to say hola. hi to people. When you see them on the streets, don't say hi, don't say hello, say hola. Um, how do you say thanks? Obrigado. Obrigado. Yes. Obrigado. Obrigado. Okay. So the second word is thanks. I'm going to put the words here. So thanks, um, you say obrigado. obrigado. And if to ask a person, how are you? How are you? Como estás? Como estás? Yes. Okay. Como estás? So hola, you can say hola, como estás? Yes, hola, como estás? Yeah, like hi. Because hola, pues, la people hola, pues, como estás? Yes. Oh, okay. So, como estás is how to say how are you, and I'm good. I'm good, estou bem. Estou bem. Yes. Estou bem. So, estou I can bem. say, estou bem. So, let's estás? start there. Como and you estás? say, estou bem. So, hola. That's hello. And then we have, obrigado, for thanks. Como estás? Is, how are you? And ah, oh, it is very similar to Spanish, like hola in Spanish, or hello in well, yes. said, like thank you was similar to the Spanish one, too. It was like yes. Spanish oh, or Japanese, yeah, very, very similar, yeah, because you know, Portugal is near, um, yeah. hey. is near uh, Spain over there. You know, so yes, so it is kind of similar, right? So awesome. We're going to do something where we look at like all the places where Portugal conquered, but um, that's why in Brazil, they speak Portuguese because they were conquered by the port, by Portugal, by, yeah. So really cool. All right, awesome, you guys. So we are going, I'm going to put these same links in, um, on the um, on our portal, so you can watch these videos back if you guys want. But we are gonna get cooking because we gotta make sure our we're grilling. You know, I was like, ooh, maybe I should have grilled outside, but 
I got My a question. probably wouldn't have been strong out there. <laughs> uh, um, it's fun. Oh, go for it. Oh, oh, we're actually about to drill outside in my You are? Oh, see? Ah! And, and my mom's like, we are not. doesn't really eat grilled corn, but I eat any type of corn. Mm -hmm. So my regardless if you're grilling corn. inside um, on the stove, so I'm actually going to use my grill pan on the stove, or if you're able to grill outside and put your things on the outside, wonderful. So the first thing we're going to do is um, over here on my pan, you can see my, um, this is my marinade chicken. All right. So what we're gonna need to do is get our coal, okay? So if you're doing this on the stove, if you're doing this on the stove, then you're gonna wanna get your coal and we're gonna light the coal on the stove. And then when you light them, literally you're gonna just put this same metal pan into the bowl and cover it down with a lid. I'm gonna go tell her. It's good to be uh, Mr. Show. Can we yes. spotlight your can we spotlight your your food? Oh, can you spot oh Miss Mercy, can you spotlight our page, please? This page. We have an indoor grill grill gorilla. I mean grill. <laughs> you do, you got an indoor gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go get the indoor grill. Okay. No, it's called a grill. Uh, I thought okay. it was called gorilla. <laughs> so, so go ahead and so let's put our so you're gonna light the fire on your stove and put the um, put the coals just so they can get lit and then you're gonna literally put this this container in here just kind of make a little pocket for it and we're not gonna get our hands all in this so use some tongs we're gonna. And because we're not going to cross contaminate, all right, we talk about cross contamination. So you're going to use one tongue for chicken and one tongue for your corn, okay? You're not going to mix them up, okay? Because we do not want to have cross contamination. That's very, very important. So um, let's go ahead, light our coals. Let's put it in here and we're going to drizzle some oil on it and cover it down with the lid. And it's going to smoke. In here, if you're putting it on the if you're putting it on the grill, go ahead and light your grill and go ahead and put your chicken on it. Okay. If you're doing it outside, if you're doing it inside, you're gonna put these to smoke in here, and we're gonna put our corn okay. on the grill if you're doing a grill pan. So really, if you're grilling outside, you know, go for it. Let's put your corn. We're gonna put your your um your chicken on the grill. Because I'm cooking inside, I'm gonna put my corn first. So let's start off with the, the coals, okay? The lipstick? Huh? The, the lipstick? The lipstick? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry, I, um, I lose my mind a little bit. I mean, lost my mind. Hey. What is that? You'll know that your pools are doing well because they're start kind of getting red with the fire and use your tongs to grab them, okay? Be very careful. Parents are going to need your support. Thank you. 
Hello? Hola. Hello? Hola. Hola. Hola, uh, um, Ari. And you said to say hola, Miss Christelle. Okay, so you guys see my polls here? I'm gonna put a little, put it right there. You wanna drizzle it with some olive oil. Just a little, just a little bit. Okay, you see how it's smoking? I'm gonna cover it down so it can give my chicken that smoky flavor. Okay, so we're going to put this off to the side. Okay, so move your smoked, um, move this off to the side. Um, let's go ahead and put your corn on the grill. Okay. So we want to drizzle this with, um, you can drizzle this with some olive oil. Actually, you can actually, yeah, let's drizzle this with some olive oil. So this is going to be a roasted corn and we want to get those roasted marks. Um, you can do olive oil if you want to do butter, uh, whatever you have but you wanna drizzle it over. And you know what, let's get our hands in there. We can just rub that olive oil over it. All right, and then put your pan on the fire and actually i'll move over to the i'll move my view over to the to the grill pan um but go ahead and put your grill pan to go so while your chicken is smoking um your corn is actually going to start we're going to start roasting our corn so let's go ahead and do that
All right, so you guys go ahead and put your corn on here. So while your corn is smoking, while your corn is um, is roasting here, you're going to be turning, you're going to be turning them as it goes, okay? And we'll know our corn is done when it's tender. So if you are on the grill, um, like outside on the grill, Really, essentially, go ahead and put everything on your grill. Put your corn and put your, because um, you'll have more space. And put your, um, and put start putting your chicken. For, this, for us who are inside here, we can start putting our corn. So those can start going. And in a little bit, our, um, your chicken should already, should have some more smoked goodness and be ready to put on the grill. Have you guys ever had um, roasted corn before? So you wanna turn, turn your, turn your corn. It's gonna start picking up that char If you have um, if you have another pan, you can actually we can see and get both our chicken and our um, and our um, corn going. So And the reason why I'm saying for us to 
get another pan just because I want to make sure we have enough time for our um because our chicken is going to need time to cook on the grill another turn so the, the key to this is turning it Ooh, you still starting to get those grill marks okay okay so I'm, I'm a little behind i just got back on what'd you say how, how do you grill the corn with some olive oil or yeah just with some olive oil Okay, I'll get it going. Yeah. going to go ahead and move these over here so they can finish in this pan and we can start our chicken in here so remember we're not we're not going to cross contaminate our our um our tongs so use some different ones What are you doing, Ariana? You're supposed to be healthy. Coming. You're not healthy. All right, guys, go ahead and take out the coals from out of your that chicken. And then you want to lay your chicken so it's going to get the grill marks, okay? So I'm going to put one on here. As you're cooking this, you don't want to move it around too much. So we're going to leave it here for a little bit. And then as it continues, then we're going to turn it.
All right, let's go ahead and kind of check these and turn them a little bit. See how it's trying to get that brown? You see that there, you guys? It's trying to get that brown color, that char. You see the grill mark? Woo! So you guys, if you're using, um, if you're vegetarian or vegan, um, you can actually, the same sauce, you can put it on your carrot, cauliflower. Um, if you're using like zucchini or eggplant um, or even mushrooms and you're gonna grill it the same way, same flavors in the, um, in the spices, and then you're just gonna grill it the same way. All right, make sure you're, you're turning your corn so somebody could be in charge of checking on the corn. And the other person is going to check on the, the chicken. Hi, oh, we're you? cooking outside. Oh, God. What'd you say? What'd you say? I said, hi, we're cooking yeah, outside. We, we, we just uh, put a chicken on the grill, chicken and corn. Yeah, I want to show you guys something. You see how on the corn, how it's more grilled here, but not there. So you want to give it time. So you're almost like you're turning it slowly. Right? If you have it on the grill outside, you're gonna cover down your grill. It's gonna do its thing, right? But for inside, you're gonna be turning it. Checking it, turning your corn a little bit at a time. We just keep turning the corn. Huh? We just keep turning the corn. Keep turning the corn because the thing is, we want the corn to get tender. It's okay. Gonna tender. It's gonna get tender as you as you keep uh, turning it because it's cooking. Okay. All right. So so don't turn it. So you want to turn it like you want to give it a chance to sit in a while, and then afterwards, then you're gonna kind of like turn it a little bit. Turn each of them a little bit. And you'll eventually turn it all the way around. Same thing we're gonna do with the chicken. Okay. Yeah. Oh. in the wrong place. It's right here. It's in the wrong place. It's in the wrong place.
Guess what? What? Mm -hmm. My grandma hit the um. So um, my grandma um hit the um the um gorilla in the wrong place. I mean the, the grill. grill. She put the grill on the wrong thing. Huh? Yeah. That's okay. And she's gonna she's gonna we're grilling both things. We're grilling the corn and we're grilling our chicken. Mm -hmm. If you notice, I'm kind of turning the chicken so it's um, on the side now. And you'll start seeing that your chicken is cooked. Well, it's still got it with some ways to go. But you'll start seeing that your chicken is cooked because it will shrink. And the, the skin will actually go from pink to white and flaky. And be careful, you guys. Your corn is going to may pop a little bit. So watch out. <laughs> Cooking. We got some popcorn. Exactly, just like popcorn. All right, I want to show you guys what my corn is looking like. Do you see the color? Mm -hmm. You can see the sides that have been that gotten a little more. Um, that got more char or, you know, just more heat. And then the other side, that still needs to be turned a little bit more. So that, that's the color we're going for. It's for a golden brown kind of color. And it will be tender as well. I don't know. That's all the others. Uh, 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 can you probably yeah. Inside and gives the inside a better flavor taste, oh, okay. and it makes it look better too. Oh, okay. Don't you keep it ice? You keep it frosty inside.
I put the, hello? Yes. I put the chicken on one side and, and basting the, the corn on the other side cooking. So okay. I split it up. So we trying to roll. <laughs> you mean in the same, do you have two pans or the same pan? I, the same pan. Um, I would prefer if you put chicken in one and the corn in another, or even if it's another, if you have another frying pan, it does not necessarily have to be a grill pan. Just a frying pan is fine. But okay. you don't want to because the chicken is going to give off the juices and the corn. Uh huh. Um, the chicken is going to need to cook. The chicken need to cook and put it in a pan. Right. So if you have, if you a have skillet. Frying pans, oh, you're talking about a skillet. A skillet could work. And put your corn in the skillet. Okay, I'll put the corn in the skillet. Okay, make sure they're not cutting. Make sure the corn that was in the, the corn that was next to the chicken. Okay. Please make sure that they didn't touch because remember you went from raw chicken and the corn is, um, you know, raw corn, but you don't want this chicken to have touched the corn. Because remember we talked about, we don't want any cross contamination. And the chicken has to cook first. Thank <laughs> you. 
What you doing, Kari? Yeah, I Playing with your toys. How are you guys coming along? Great. Right, wonderful. Okay, I got it cooking. And two separate skillets. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> You guys, you guys barbecue a lot during the summer? In my family, we do. I know we'll have 4th of July coming up soon. We got all kinds of holidays. Oh, you guys, we have that holiday on um, on Monday. Yeah, Cesar Chavez, Cesar Chavez Day. Chicken is looking good. <laughs> oh, 
And you see how this piece of chicken is kind of flaking off a little bit? Those are good signs to, of things that we're looking for. Um, and feel free to like take a fork and look at your chicken, you guys. You can slice off, you can look at a piece of it to see how it's coming along. All right, we're looking for flaky, uh, no pink. Okay, that's coming along. So if you're doing this in, in the, inside on your stove, you'll be doing this in batches, of course. You'll be doing this in batches. Um, if you're outside and you have more space, then you can put everything out, um, put all your chicken. Um, and of course, you would put your chicken down below and your corn on top. If you're doing it on your grill. Guys, look at my corn, it's coming, they're coming along. So just be sure to kind of just keep turning them and turning them. You'll see the kernel start to kind of burst a little bit. As our chicken is coming along, you guys, the last thing we need to do is to make our salad. So you want to keep an eye here on your grill and on your corn, um, but we can go ahead and start chopping our um, chopping our salad and putting that together.
All right, check on your corn, you guys. Your corn should be about done. Um, so looking at the corn, see how they have the, you know, they've gotten pretty brown here. So if I turn all of them, you know, you should see brown all around. And you wanna make sure your fire is not too high. Your fire should be like about a medium. Okay, how are you guys coming on your corn? And feel free to like take a knife and stick it to see how well it um if it goes in really easy, right? And you can kind of see how the kernels are kind of bruised from the from the heat there. That lets you know that your corn is for the most part ready. Okay, and because it's roasted corn, it's not gonna be as like super soft. Like you know when you when you steam it, it's not gonna be like 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 super super soft. It's gonna give you a little bit of bite, but still tender though, still tender and cooked. I see the grill families outside. And like summertime. All right, check your different pieces of chicken. So again, if you're doing this inside, you're gonna do this in batches. Um, check your certain chicken may be done compared to other pieces. So kind of just check them, turn them, cut into them, make sure that they're cooked. Hey, you guys, I just looked at this chicken here. I cut it and cut into it. You want it to be flaky. There, so check, check your chicken, you guys.
All right, so you guys, let's, I'm gonna change my view and come back over to the um, to the table so we can start chopping our salad and getting that going. I see some grill masters over there. All right, so you guys, for your uh, salad, um, you can put whatever you want in here. Um, some people like uh, onions and cucumbers in their salad, right? So whatever you want to have in your salad, you can make it however you want it. So I'm actually gonna put some lettuce, some onion, carrots, cucumber. This is like a baby cucumber. Like if they do like a baby pickle. And I'm actually gonna put some uh, little tangerines in there too. And I'm also gonna put some uh, of the Italian parsley that we got. And this parsley, you can use in the salad and you can also use it um, to garnish your corn or to garnish your chicken after, actually that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna chop some pieces of it. So it's gonna go on top of our, um, we're gonna sprinkle it on top of our, our chicken and our corn. So it looks all fancy. All right, so let's go ahead and start chopping these up into our salad. Hello there. Hi there. Hey, how's it going? Hi, Miss Sal. Hi. Okay, who is that? I see DGA XR. What's your name? That's is Danielle. That's Ariana's mom. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm wonderful. Chef Ariana's doing a great job. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's really good to hear. Yeah. Let's see, I just got off work, just checking in to see what you guys see how the cooking was going. Yeah, it's going <laughs> it looks good, good so far. You guys got yes. so we're actually putting together the salad right now. So I have the lettuce. So uh -huh. whatever you want to put in your your salad. Oh, okay. Nice. 
Healthy Crystals may be easy mm -hmm. to monitor your cat's health, helping to avoid serious illness. She's switching to Pretty Litter. Smart lady. Try Pretty Litter risk-free for 30 days. When you sign up, get free delivery. Go to prettylitter.com. Judy and Ari didn't make it into the class today, or the... they did. Yeah. Oh, they did. Oh, okay. Oh, um, actually, you know what? I know she was telling me that she was having internet trouble, so oh, they were here. Okay. So they're cooking. They're cooking, and they're well. I don't see them here in this moment, so maybe I don't know if they have they had internet trouble right this second. But but when uh when you get home, you said you're home. Well, I'm home, but they're they're at my grandmother's house. I on there, yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> so she. Mom, so when you go to her house, we're gonna get you right. some beer, beer chicken. Right. Yeah. Exactly. That's how I was like. Oh, sounds good. I said, okay. I'm like, let me check this. See how this, how uh, the the meal is going. I see here on there. So I'm gonna uh, definitely check in with them and uh, can't wait to try it. <laughs> Absolutely. That's in here. <laughs> Guys, when you notice when I cut this. Um, uh the parsley i cut off the stems and so the stems can be kind of tough you can use this still like in soup or um you know if you're doing another meal you could put that in there but for the salad we don't want to have those those hard um parts in there do we start cutting up the lettuce yes mm -hmm. Start cutting up your lettuce. Come here. What do you guys like in your salad? My favorite salad will have to be uh, I, I, like if if <clears throat> I'm about to make my favorite salad. <laughs> I'm talking about carrot, but if I was to make my favorite salad, it'll be just cucumbers, tomatoes, and mm -hmm. carrots. Um, and if you really want to uh, sprinkle a little tahini in there, no lettuce. Um, and it's really good. <laughs> That's what I had at school today. Sprinkle a little uh, mascot vinegar on there. Mm. Ooh. Okay, so you said lettuce. No, you said no lettuce. You said cucumbers. Mm hmm Tahine. Mm hmm What else? Tomatoes and carrots. Tomatoes and carrots. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. And, and, and if you really want to, try like a little... um. A good flavor to it. Yeah. Like, tomatoes, uh, salad I'm thinking like a little sourish. Like you want yeah. a little oh, like, um, sour. Okay. All right. Okay. You put a little vinegar in there. Give it a little tap. Ariana doesn't like salad. Oh well. Crap. Are you, huh? So Ariana, but we still you? we still have salad in the bag. <laughs> okay. So Ariana, why don't you why don't you like salad? Why don't you like salad? 
because it, I don't know. Okay, so let me tell you this. The dog. Salad is one, healthy for you. So it's gonna make your body strong, okay? And it's very important that you eat vegetables, right? Right, plants, all the plants that we have, all these vegetables, all this good fruit and vegetable fruits and vegetables are gonna help you to grow strong and having a balanced diet, right? Now, this is the thing, your salad does not have to be boring. You can have a great salad. So Ariana, it sounds to me like you haven't maybe had a fantastic salad yet. Okay, you can get in. So Ari. Yeah. All right. So do we have So when you have a salad. Okay. So like you guys said, you your uh, grandma said you guys have salad in the back today, which is totally fine. But now we're gonna add, we're gonna add some things to your salad to make it taste fantastic. Oh yeah, okay. we're gonna make it fantastic. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop. Okay. Now you're messing up a book. It's my book. Yeah, but you don't mess it up. Maybe somebody else wants to read that book. Now you have to put it in the trash. Judy, no good. Hello. Judy, we, were, we were asking Ariana about um, what we can do to make her, her salad fun. Yeah. So there's different shapes that we could put in your salad, like how I'm cutting my carrots here and like, they look like half moons. Okay. Right? You could put cool little shapes in here. You could put all the different colors. Look, I have yellow and the onion is white and the green. And then the, this is gonna be orange. So if you have some reds, so you're gonna put all these cool colors in there. And I know then, my, my mother does that with yeah. all the colors, with all the vegetables. Yeah. But she still won't eat it. Well, what about if you put some, you could put some cranberries or some raisins. So you get like sweet and tart in there. Uh, what? She sits up here gagging on that. You know, I see her face. <laughs> but it's you know what? Ari, this. Okay. So the thing <laughs> is, there are going to be vegetables that you may like more than others, but you want to find a vegetable that you like. Okay. Yeah, so find a vegetable that you like. There's so many. Oh my god. You have goodness. to find a vegetable. Zucchini. Huh? Zucchinis. Oh, you like zucchini? That's awesome. Okay, so we're gonna have zucchini. And you know zucchinis come in different colors too, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yellow, green, orange. Purple. Purple. She said purple. I haven't seen no purple one, but. You know, uh, that's green, green, green and eggplant. yellows. Why? Mm -hmm. Eggplant is something that's that's close to a zucchini. Yeah, eggplant is good. Mm -hmm. My favorite color is purple, not pink. Ah, I like the eggplant. Yeah, and it tastes good grilled too. I didn't think about the eggplant. Yes, it does. And you could have you could have put your um Stop for it. your vegetables. You could have put your peri peri sauce ah. in your vegetables and just put them on the grill and then oh. take great too yeah i like I my salad time. fried <laughs> you don't have to fry salad <laughs> i like it fried though okay well hold on you say you don't eat you say you're not eating salad so how are you eating your fried stop it Tara. how you spell purple <laughs> she can hear you just talk how you spell yeah. purple P U R P L E. She can hear you. Just talk. I just spell it slow. P U P U R P L E. No, you didn't press it. Right. You didn't press it right. All right, so you guys, let's start. Let's start plating up our. Um, let's start plating up our meal. How are you guys coming along? Miss Brenda, how are you guys coming? D2, Miss Tracy, Miss Danielle, Miss um, Judy, and um, yeah. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Somebody was saying something. The chicken is so good. 
It's so Maybe good. Uh, uh, we uh, can uh, wait to put on the plate. We are ready. <laughs> the chicken is so good. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, it's going to be so good. Okay, so you see my style like this? I'm just going to toss it like that. You know, you guys, when I was growing up, the Caribbean, we didn't, we didn't, um, when we would eat lettuce, we would always eat it in a row. You want to get to the pole? Huh? Did you say you want to get to the pole? Yeah, Tuesday. Well, you can't get it here. Well, here's something you can use this one. So feel free, you know, eat your salad well, as a broad leaf. Or if you want to add um, your um, dressings to it, um, and you could do a light dressing. It doesn't have to be anything heavy, but you could, eat, you know, put the, the dressing of your choice. All right, so let's plate it up, you guys, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and also leave some of your, cut some of your, chop some of your parsley to sprinkle on top of your, um, of your chicken and on your corn. You guys can do like an Italian dressing on here or just whatever kind of dressing you want. Let's see. I'm gonna put a little bit of this over here like that. Get our corn. Okay. Right. All right, you guys. How's your plate looking? Oh, I sprinkled them. I'm trying to run away. What? I see your plate. Ooh, okay, come on, you too. I see your plate. Yep. Got okay. that corn. No, we're going we gonna to spot like you. Hold on, Mr. Hold on, Mr. Hold on, Mr. Mr. Can you spot like him there? Look. Let me see. Hold on, D2. Oh, 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 D2, yes. Yes. How's that corn? Good. What about chicken? <laughs> it's good like chicken. Oh, yeah, I see the chicken. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Ah, uh, spicy. 
Huh? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, make sure to take a take a picture if you can. Take a picture if you there can. it is. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. Woo, Miss Tracy, come and D2, come through. Come through. That looks amazing. Whoa. Oh. Talk about gourmet plate. Oh yeah, show her your salad. He he fixes his salad different. I I can't mess with him. <laughs> I know D two. He told he, he told he us. He does. I call I call the new generation salad. Everything is in chunks. He <laughs> like chunky salad. <laughs> look at that. Wait, wait, look at that juice. That's vinegar right there. Oh, okay. that looks great. <laughs> and, and, and here's the thing: it's honey in here too, so it's a little sweet. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh, Natalie. Yeah. Look at Natalie. Ooh. I love it. Yes. Look at that. Wow. I love it, Natalie. Oh, my word. Come on, team. Get a bowl, Ari. Okay. Give me a plate. Get a plate. it. Um. We're not done. done yet. We will be done in a minute. Hey, you see that steam? Yeah. Yes, me too. We see that steam. We have chicken, we have salad, we have corn. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Come on, corn. Feel free to show us your, um, Miss, um, Miss Judy. Miss Judy, Miss Brenda. Show us yours when you're ready. Mm -hmm. Now we're done. You are? Mm hmm. Well, we want to see it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I don't want no one. Hmm. Hold on. We're going to show you our plate. Mm hmm. No vegetables. I don't like vegetables. Can you try one of them today? One? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Move, Ari. You're being silly. <laughs> All right, Ari. We want to see your. We want to see your plate, Ari. Are you helping so we can see your plate? Yeah. Right, we got our plate here with the grilled chicken and corn wow. and some salad. <laughs> can you see it? Yes, we can. Look at those good grill marks. Wow, come through. Yeah. Miss Danielle, your food is waiting for you. Yeah, right. I see those. Yeah. There's some good yeah, grill marks right there. Mm -hmm. Those are good grill marks right we there. We got some grill marks. Uh -huh. And the only thing is that we actually grilled ours. Like, grilled yeah. Ours. yeah, you guys had outdoor grill. Mm -hmm. We had the indoor grill. So, if you have the nice. indoor grill, the outdoor grill, you can Yeah, see it's indoor, mark. outdoor. Mm -hmm. it's I like the small one. It looks good. Yeah. So good yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to try the chicken, Ari? Let's try it. Yeah, try the chicken and try the corn. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> you, you, dig it. It. you dig it into that. <laughs> I'm going to try to get you a plate uh, for it. Mm -hmm. Good job, everybody. Miss Brenda, how are you guys coming up there? There you go. 
and get you some. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me know how it tastes, Ari. We almost done. Mm -hmm. I see people dancing. That means it's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know food is good. That is you very know. true. Your I corn looks I good, is. Miss Pastel. That corn and salad looks really good. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we have so many good look. I, look, I'm looking at Natalie eating her corn and D2. Look, D2 is like. <laughs> <laughs> right. His food look, his food was good, too. Everybody's food looks really good. I'm so proud of everyone. All you guys are like young chefs. That's so amazing. Hi, Danielle. Hey. Mm -hmm. oh, I'll be just to check up on okay, you guys. I'll be here Hope it's done. Uh, but she's so she needs some help. So maybe. <laughs> okay. Right. There it so you guys, next week. Let's try it. Next week, we're going to be. We're going to move from Africa and we're going to come back to the United States of America. More crunchy. More crunchy. She said a little bit more crunchy. You said, you mean you want it to be a little more crunchy? Mm hmm. Oh, hold on. Let's do this. You guys can hear me better here. Okay, so we're gonna be we're gonna fly back to the United States of America. Okay. And we're going to be making we're gonna be making burgers, homemade burgers, homemade burgers, and I think we're gonna make them a little different. Okay. Have you guys ever seen stuffed burgers where you put stuff in the middle? Yeah. That yeah, sounds yeah. delicious. Uh oh, hold on, let me turn up this volume. No lettuce. <laughs> I know, Ari, for you, we're gonna put lettuce in the middle. <laughs> I'm joking. Looks um, good, huh? She must be tasting good. She's eating it with her hands. Yeah, come on, get in there. That's good. So we're gonna be um, making burgers with fries. We're gonna not fries. We're gonna make it with. Uh, we're gonna make onion rings. Okay. Have you guys ever made onion rings? No, I love to. We're gonna be doing it. So all we're right, be making onion rings, onion rings from scratch, and we're okay. gonna make our burgers, and they're gonna be a little, we're gonna have a little pop because the middle is gonna have something. No in it. And if you are a vegetarian or vegan, join us. The burger is gonna be off the chain as well. And um, and for all of us that are in here, so regardless if you eat meat or if you don't eat meat, we want to, um, our food is always, it's all about it tasting great and bringing nourishment to your body, okay? And one thing I will let you guys know, as you start getting older, young people, you want to make sure that you're eating healthy, okay? It's not like how we did this corn. You don't have to put a slab of butter on here. Just a little drizzle that we did with the olive oil. That's all you need. And, and you, in most cases, you if you put it right on your grill, you don't even need to put oil on it because the I, heat will cook. Is there Miss Crystal? Huh? Oh, you're done, Miss Brenda. Oh, Miss Brenda. Aquí está. Andrew, hey. <laughs> What's there? Let's okay. Let's spotlight. Let's spotlight. Oh wow! Oh my goodness, Andrew. Good job. Ooh, excellent, excellent. So I love Ooh, it. That was good. Did you take a picture yet? Yeah, Did we already take the picture. Okay, I like all the different versions of the salads. Everybody has a different looking salad. I like that. Yes. <laughs> Great job, everybody. That looks so good. Mm -hmm. mm -mm 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 -mm. So we're going to have some more fun, you all. So join us next week. If you're watching us on YouTube, join us next week. Um, and we're going to have more fun. The recipe is in the parent portal. And um, thank you guys all for being wonderful chefs. We got some chefs in the house. And you guys have all these recipes that you can use throughout the whole year from all these different countries. Okay? All right. So you guys have a great dinner. And um, I will see you guys next Friday. Do -do 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 -do
Bye, everybody. Bye, you guys. Bye. See you later. Bye, Miss.